Here's another interpretation of an ocean vaughn poem called Telemachus. Telemachus, of course, um, was the son of Odysseus, who in Homer's epic poem left the Trojan War and set off on a series of adventures on his own. So he basically was an absentee father, um, and Telemachus had to fend for himself and also for his mother Penelope, um, who had a string of suitors. So Telemachus, of course, is waiting for his father to come home. Um, but Odysseus or Ulysses does take quite a while. Um, eventually, though, they are reunited. Um, so what's interesting in this poem is um, Ocean Vong's use of um, the Greek myth or the Greek story um, to reflect on an entirely different situation. Um, in this case, uh, that of a son who finds his father dead. So here's the poem first. Telemachus. Like any good son, I pull my father out of the water, drag him by his hair through white sand, his knuckles carving a trail the waves rush in to erase. Because the city beyond the shore is no longer where we left it, because the bomb cathedral is now a cathedral, because the bomb cathedral is now a cathedral of trees. I knew beside him to see how far I might sink. Do you know who I am, Ba? But the answer never comes. The answer is the bullet hole in his back, brimming with sea water. He is so still, I think he could be anyone's father. Found the way a green bottle might appear at a boy's feet containing a year he has never touched. I touch his ears. No use. I turn him over to face it. The cathedral in his sea black eyes. The face, not mine but one I will wear to kiss all my lovers good night, the way I seal my father's lips with my own and begin the faithful work of drowning. This poem, Telemachus, actually won a prize in the US. Um, and uh, apart from its clever use of the context, the different context of the Greek myth, um, it also alludes to the uh, Vietnam War, I think, um, if you know Ocean Vuong's background. Uh, and of course, the numerous deaths of the Vietnamese nationalists who were fighting to liberate the country from American domination, first from French domination and then from American domination in the 60s and 70s. So this is a scenario in which a son finds um, a father who's been killed by a gunshot. So let's begin commenting on the first stanza. So when it says, like any good son, I pull my father out of the water, drag him by his hair. Um, what's interesting here to me is how he, the speaker aligns himself in a general way with any typical son doing his duty. But note the act of violence, which is drag him by his hair through white sand. So, so the violence is interesting uh, because obviously the speaker could have dragged the corpse out of the water by the arms uh, rather than by his hair. And when the second stanza says his knuckles carving a trail, the waves rush in to erase, it does suggest um, the notion of human transience. This is, in a war, this is just one corpse out of many. And nature is indifferent. Nature will just restore everything to its previous order or appearance, whatever the human interference, whatever the human suffering. When it says, 
And because the city beyond the shore is no longer where we left it, because the bomb cathedral is now a cathedral of trees, it is describing the destruction due to the war, um, including the destruction of sacred spaces and buildings like a cathedral. Um, and for the poem to say that the bomb cathedral is now a cathedral of trees suggests a passage of time and again um, reinforces the notion that actually nature will simply grow back. It will ignore the human destruction and revert to its former organic self. When the speaker says, I kneel beside him to see how far I might sink, it's not just a reference to how uh, the speaker's weight is making him um, uh, sink into, uh, um, lower himself into the sand, but it's also psychological in the sense that it's saying that, uh, or it's suggesting, it's beginning to suggest that it's psychological in that the speaker probably is beginning to sink into despair. And the question uh, in italics, do you know who I am, Bar, um, is clearly a futile one since it is a dead body right in front of him. So the answer never comes. And because the answer is already given, which is the bullet hole at the back of the corpse, brimming with seawater. And the defamiliarization that occurs, which is um, the case when Vong, when Vong's speaker says he could be anyone's father, um, continues in how um, he is likened to um, the way uh, a bottle containing a seaborne message um, might turn up at any boy's feet at the beach, um, which obviously is from the past and could be um, very remote indeed, indeed something that the, the boy who finds such a bottle has not experienced because probably the boy hasn't been born yet, right? So, so when the speaker says, I touch his ears, no use, uh, I turn him over to face it, the cathedral in his sea black eyes, uh, is a pretty graphic description of how the dead body uh, can no longer see anything and that the cathedral uh, which is perhaps symbolic at this point of messages of peace and love and so on uh, the cathedral is just is just not something that the, the body perceives and perhaps also the speakers having problems reconciling the presence of the cathedral with the corpses sea black eyes, not the use of the compound word sea black, which is interesting and quite appropriate uh, here uh, because the body is found in the sea and the eyes of the corpse ha have been darkened to, um, to a great extent um, and obviously are blind. When it says the face not mine, Clearly, it's pointing to a difference between father and son. Uh, but again, as part of the psychological complexity of the poem, uh, when Vong's speaker says, what, but one I will wear to kiss all my lovers goodnight, it suggests that um, the consequence of this discovery of his father's corpse uh, leads to the adopting of the death mask of his father when Vong enters into any relationship and that this is a negative force that the speaker needs to reckon with or has a problem reconciling with um, in subsequent relationships. When it, the poem says, the way I seal my father's lips with my own and begin the faithful work of drowning, obviously this could be CPR, uh, it could be a farewell kiss as well, um, but uh, what's disturbing, obviously, is the way the poem concludes, which is the faithful, which is in the phrase "the faithful work of drowning," that suggests how the speaker uh, 
remembers the father um, through an emotional turbulence and despair which begins from this discovery of his drowned father. So this poem is again um, typically of Vong's poems, um, psychologically um, suggestive and disturbing um, and interesting in the way it uses um, different contexts, different historical and social contexts and different um, associations um, through allusion. Thank you.